What is fast set concrete or rapid set concrete? And more specifically, what is it used for? Primarily, it's really going to be two different things that you might find that specific concrete product used for, and they are one, cold weather applications, and to this I mean when you pour concrete there's limitations, there's water mixed in it, if it's freezing cold outside this is going to affect both the workability of the concrete as well as the long-term cure strength. So you can use an accelerant in your concrete for a faster initial setup time, this fast set concrete. And it's doing a couple of things for you that are beneficial when you're working in cold climate or cold weather applications. Specifically, concrete, as the chemical actuation process happens and it begins hardening, it generates heat. It's outputting heat during this chemical actuation process. And by speeding up the process that it's setting, we're increasing the amount of heat that it's outlaying, especially in the initial setup, which is very important in cold weather. So in addition to the cold weather specifically, what else might you use an accelerant or fast set concrete for? And most commonly, that would be for precast concrete, but a faster turnaround. So normal concrete temperatures, but just faster turnaround uh, of the concrete out of the molds. When you work in production or precast concrete, you're making a lot of stuff. And it's really important that you make it as fast as you can, batching your molds. And molds are very expensive, so you have a finite amount of them. So what you want to do is you want to get your concrete into the mold. You want it to set up as quickly as possible so you can get it out of there and go sit it someplace else for curing over a 28-day period, but get more concrete into that mold again so you can make as much product as possible. So in that case, an accelerant is used for the concrete so that you can maximize your daily yield and turn over as much product as possible through your molds. So what, what is this product specifically that you're accelerating concrete with or with a fast set or a rapid set concrete product? What's in there actually facilitating this faster set? And the number one answer to that is calcium chloride. So I mean, Mine's kind of old and there's a little chunk of it here, but normally this would be more like, I don't know, cereal, like grains of cereal, but mine is very old because I've had it sitting here under my desk for, I don't know, 10 years, 20 years, something like that. You don't go through a lot of it when you're using it in very small amounts to increase the set time of concrete. Typically speaking, you would go to a maximum of 2% calcium by weight in comparison to the cement component used in making your mix. You could say even 1% to 2% would be the useful range for this product and then beyond that, beyond 2%, you're going to start to have noticeable defects, problems associated with too much calcium like staining, efflorescence growth, things like that. And further to that, there's another problem here. Whilst this is the most popular product that is used for fast set or rapid set concrete, it's, it has a little bit of a problem with it. The calcium chloride product ex accelerates rust. So if you have steel within the concrete and you use a calcium-based accelerant, that can be a problem. And in an engineering environment, it's definitely a problem. And so over time, there's been many different things that have been looked at and used for accelerants which are not calcium chloride, uh, nitrates, and many other things that are beyond the scope of my ability to understand. But the number one thing that you use for accelerating concrete when you're not using calcium chloride because you have a, a steel-heavy environment where corrosion or prevention of corrosion is of paramount importance, you would use calcium formate. It's also often just called like non-chloride accelerant, or you could just call it calcium formate. And it's an interesting thing. I believe it's a distilled uh, acid product from formic acid. And it's, uh, again, it's, it's not as commonly used. You have to use more of it than a calcium chloride product, specifically 2% to 3% by weight in comparison to the cement component versus the calcium as discussed earlier at 1% to 2%. So it's, uh, you know, on the benchtop level, that's insignificant. Uh, when you're pouring sidewalks for the city, or, you know, by the, you know, the mile, basically, it matters a lot for how much the cost component is going to be for your admixtures here. 
But all this is just like engineering level jargon for uh, concrete people to argue over. What you need to know for rapid set is it's a product that's specifically used for cold weather initial set application times or for regular temperature production level environments where you're trying to you know speed the initial set time of your uh, molds as fast as possible to create the mass or the most amount of product possible you use calcium chloride as the primary way to do this one to two percent by weight when you don't have steel or you're not worried about the potential for advanced corrosion properties as a result of this particular accelerant in which case you would use the calcium formate product or really, you just go down to the local hardware store and buy the bag of pre-mix that says fast set or rapid set. That's what most people would do. But now you know what it is you're buying and what it's primarily used for. And I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.